well, hey Chucky, I'm actually starting to hook things up, I'm getting ready to move these, so they're long, no longer in my driveway here, yeah, my grassy driveway, show you what I did, uh, I'm going to do this so you light don't walk in, sun starts from back there, it makes its path all the way to where the sun is blinding the camera now. So, I'm not going to put it just facing that way and then, that, then I don't get nothing. I think I'll get it as it's coming across. As the summer comes closer, it'll rise up high, actually higher in, this, higher in the sky on this part. But, uh, let's see. Alright, I got the, uh, what is it, the Harbor Freight panels, I'm going to put side by side, face one like this way and one that way, so I'll get, as it, like I said, all of it's coming across. This was the pipe that I had for uh, the wind turbine, which you can see, I took it down, I didn't need it, I only get wind so much, so, and it was only for a test anyway, so. It showed me what it, how much volts I was getting and how much wind it was taking. Right now, this is getting let's see if you can see this. 21.7 uh, DC volts. We got the combiner box all hooked on. So anyway, and that's not even facing the sun. So, but the other one in there will actually tell me better. The other charge controller. Went up to Home Depot, I bought a pipe. Come find out this pipe was too big for this mounting system. As you can see, I built a whole rack for it. Uh, this pipe was too big for the for the uh, satellite dish mounting system. So I went and got a pole off of the satellite and uh, sunk it down inside, put a bolt in it and locked it. And then I went back and I'm like, ah, oh, this feels like a little too flimsy. So, anyway, back there, while I was back there, I found these rods. As you can see, now it's pretty solid. And that's as much as it'll turn until I get some more bolts to countersink into it. But uh, think about making it where, let me see if I can get this out. Yeah, see, I'm just going to pull, I think I'm going to put like one here. One here, and then like one on the other side, or, or actually straight through, cross. And then I'll just take a pin and lock it in place. And chickens over there breaking everything. Get out of stuff! <laughs> what happened to your master? Where's Rudy at? There he is. There's that badass. I got all the styrofoam out here. Chickens. Love to eat that shit, and I gotta keep it away from them. <clears throat> Insulation. Oops. Sorry about that, everybody. Anyway, as you can see, that'll get a lot more sun and clears up my yard. So I think it'll work out fine. And like I said, I'm gonna put those over here. Those are all going to be connected. Those are going to be connected to the uh, combiner box. And this way it's only the uh, one, the two wires that are running positive and negative over to the uh, charge controller. Which ain't far, I'd say that's about maybe uh, 50 feet tops. And it's a uh, 10 gauge wire. So, and it's actually designed for this. So it's actually, so but let me get some more done and I'll get back to you and give you an update on it and then take you inside and let's see how I connect all that up. Alright. You see it got dark on me. So I wasn't just doing no filming. Uh, I moved that up to there. I did get the uh, solar panel wires ran and the uh, Harbor Freight ones moved. Now I'm feeding in from the battery because I want to go with a nice thicker wire for my uh, charge to go to my batteries. 
I left that one hooked up so I can still see and see how those two compare against each other. Let me turn this TV down. Yeah, the TV's running off of it. The lights are running off of it right now. Like I said, only thing that's not, you can see in this mess, is that heater. Because it's freaking cold outside. Uh, so, I'm going to get this wired up. Okay. Remember, everybody always hook the battery up first to your charge controller. I know maybe a lot of people already know it, but i got to constantly tell myself that. But And then, I'll hook the solar panels up. And then I will sit down and try to read the directions, instructions, on how to program this thing, how to read this thing. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> but, that's where it's at. I did get some film, uh, like I said, some footage of me putting the uh, solar panels up and where I moved them to, but that's about it. Alright, let me get some done and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. Um, I actually want to show you something. Melvin told me to tell you all hi. Uh, as you can see, it's dark out again. This is, of course, the next day in this video. I actually put it on this one. Strictly running off, charging off the solar panels. Charged your batteries. Charge the batteries. And this thing over here. I gotta read this instructions, and you can see a little small type. Yeah, small than me. I can't see it. But see, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I guess this was drawn. I don't know. Okay, this is the battery. It says 12.8. This one says 12.9. <coughs> now these batteries have been setting. Uh, this is how you know what your batteries are at capacity. When you're reading them during the day, when the sun is out and they're charging, your batteries are not 14.1, 13.8, uh, you know, and so on. That is your charge load. Um, yes, it took me some time to figure that out. And, uh, and then once, after a couple hours, the sun's done went down and you're, you're not pulling any more charge, you'll see that thing drop from 13.6, 14, whatever your high reading is, and that is your battery uh, state, where you know where it's setting at a charge. Now, like I said, it's our, the sun's been down, it's 8.30 at night, the sun goes down around here around like 6.15, so two and a half hours, two hours, 15 minutes, blah, 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 if you want to get technical, and that's where my battery is. Now, only thing I have on, so, is that light right there that's blinding the camera. As you can see, I got nothing else on uh, other than this little light right here that's on the TV. It's a drawing something. I don't know what. Maybe a little milliwatt or something like that. Uh, vampire draw type deal. Let me turn some lights on now so you can see things. Uh, I have another one down here. As you can see, that is a 12 volt outlet and uh, power antenna. So that's what it's powering on. That's what the other little vampire draw is. I'm going to turn it all on. Uh, the other one, the light you see over there where the heater is, like I said, that is the only thing that's on grid that's, uh, that I cannot control because that thing will draw these batteries down in no time. Oh, TV's on now. Let me turn this down. Now this is a 22 or 24 inch uh, flat screen LED TV. It does have, uh, I don't know if you can't, probably can't see it, but it does have a uh, DVD player built into it. Now I'll let that sit there. As you can see, with all the two lights on, batteries are staying exactly where they was before. Uh, batteries. Like I said, I gotta figure this thing out. Like I said, you got a a, um, a small B, not a capitalized B, but a small B. That's a, that stands for batteries. Uh, this is another thing. Uh, your power that's coming in. As you can see, that's jumping around. That is my mono crystal solar panels out there. 
from the moonlight and the uh let's see if you can see it out there or not you guys see that light that's over top that's uh shining down onto those batteries now it's only putting in it says jumping from seven to eight seven to eight volts which really ain't going to make a difference on that battery bank it's not going to be putting in any power whatsoever that i that i know of all right now you see that this one has went down to 12 8. see if this one's set at now Twelve seven, twelve eight. So that's because I got the light on, TV on, drawing. That's it. That's what I have on right now. I got two lights or four lights. Those are the LED little uh, lights that I changed over that I gave away in the contest. And they hardly don't draw anything. So we're. I'm gonna come back periodically, give you a timestamp, and let you know. As of right now, all I can let you know is what has done dropped off like 0.1 of the uh, 12 volt, volt, volts or whatever. Or that's what my batteries are setting at after two hours of no sun. So that's what you would go by. You can't go by the 13.6, 14 whatever. I hate to keep repeating myself, but that really took a lot to sink into my head. And I wasn't understanding, wow, well, like I said, it dropped and used that much. No, it doesn't. It's just the way it is. Your battery capacity is your battery capacity and 12.8 is basically fully I think fully charged I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that's what it is 12.8 12.9 um, like I said you guys that know more about it if you want to leave a message in a, a comment down there and explain it maybe to me if I'm reading it wrong or if I don't know what the heck I'm talking about you know hey I'm no best person to go to about solar I'm just trying to give what I got and what, it, what it's doing and that is 640 amp hours of batteries out there. It's six 110 batteries, uh, deep cycle, 12 volt. But if I'm doing anything wrong, let me know. Uh, fill me in. All comments and all information you guys can tell me is very helpful. Um, I do want to hook up. Let me see. You guys can see this. Get that glare off of there. It's a GT power meter. Um, it's a watt meter and a power analyzer. I want to hook that up. I'm just going to have to sit down here. I'm going to turn the laptop on. And uh, maybe I might find a video or something on it on how to install it. I was thinking about maybe coming out of this to this. And that's going to the batteries. But before I do it, I don't want to burn this up. I don't want to burn that up. I don't want to mess anything up. I'd rather research it and make sure that I have it all down. And this guy right here is no freaking help. None! He's always harassing me. But, there's your uh, Melvin. Everybody's been wanting to see. Your friendly alien. Some call it my sex doll, which I have not a clue why. <laughs> but, uh, they're idiots. There's your Melvin for the day. And uh, he said that he'll be making more appearances in the videos and to say hi to everybody. And maybe one day he'll put some freaking clothes on. But until then, like I said, I'll keep you guys up to date on how everything is running. And uh, I'll let you know when it, how fast it's dropping. Just off of what I got running here. Now what I'm going to do is uh, leave all the lights on. Leave the TV on. I'm going to turn this backlight on. And as you can see... I really got this place a mess. So I got to put tools away, my uh, covers and pillows and all that I had sitting out here because I like to be comfortable when I'm sitting here watching a movie. And I'm going to let a movie play. I'm going to put a DVD in and let a movie play and then let you know how it goes along. But until then, see ya. Alrighty, let me turn this TV down. Thought I did. Yeah. Okay. I got the place somewhat cleaned up. I still got a little bit more. Let me move that trash out of the way. You don't see that. You don't see that. But all my tools are gathered up. Equipment and stuff that I had out. Uh, I'm going to hook this back up. I just got to figure out how to get the wires outside and this inside without drilling holes. Uh, I was here with his little brother. Let's get on camera again. Okay. See if we can focus this in. 
it's 21 degrees outside wind chill factor is almost 11 degrees and it's supposed to get even colder and it's 64 inside let's go up here okay I have no idea, idea what that is Barry is saying 12.6 12.7 there and wait a minute, let's see if this one you can get the time on time and date 11 something, a little bit after 11 now lights lights and TV for running for two hours batteries are still 206, 207, you see it jumping up there uh, I think this one right here is at 126 and now that one says 126 so it's right there at the limit um, of keeping that 126 after two hours of steady running while I was online now I haven't plugged this in so the charge up and stuff like that because I don't have my inverter hooked up like I said that is running off of a the central plug that's running straight to the garage but it's the way it's been like I said I mean you know I've, it's been two hours and I've been cleaning up somewhat but uh oh let's see yeah, 12.6 I want to see if this shows up oh, I, got, I might already showed it if it is, I'll, don't, I'll take it out. But, like I said, that's just from that light outside. Right over top of the solar panels. Daytime, I'll actually put in another video. And, and I'll give you updates, like I said, all day long. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since all the panels are hooked back up, which is only 290 watts. Um, and I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to put this in. Because this will tell me the watt meter and the amps and all the rest of the stuff where I don't know how to program that one yet and I need to learn how to program that one because that has a lot of good features on it uh, it'll actually you, you hook up your like say your lights to your load or anything else maybe you want something else running uh, this thing will have a timer switch on it that will turn it off at a certain time uh, or if they'll actually turn your lights on when the sun goes down and it stops receiving power it actually turns your lights on it's a bunch of different little features with it I don't know if we have a name for it or not. Nope. China. What do you expect? I don't have no name. But I'm still working back here. I'm putting all my extra tools and stuff in there. And I got to bag the kids' toys up. Let me see. I'll turn this light on back here. My son and all of them are living down at my uh, that house that I rehab. And, uh, because it's just too cramped up in here for three of them. Uh, if, I, if it's anything else, you guys just let me know. Like I said, I wanted to give you, I mean, I'm just going to still stay in here tonight, and I'll probably do some more filming and add it to another video. And, uh, start analyzing as much as I can, and give you straight up facts of what it's doing, how it's doing, and stuff like that. But, uh, and I'll definitely be getting Melvin to his own freaking place or I don't know what the hell is going on with him I think he got threw off his planet that's what it is but uh I'll give you some more updates I'll tell you how everything's going but that's where it's got to I can't remember if I said 12 8 12 9 when I first started doing it and that was two hours ago and running these lights TV and, and all that for the last couple hours it was 8.30, so it would be 9.30, 10.30, two and a half hours, and that's as far as it dropped. So, but until next time, you guys have a good one. Take care. See ya.